okay so welcome everyone welcome to your channel efficient corporates so we are back with the video which is again a series of uh, the last three videos which we have done on the uh, office efficiency topic and we already had three videos on it like what are the rules for office efficiency part one and part two and then we discussed about some tools for office efficiency in the tools video we had the discussion on three tools like excel rta and python that uh, how these tools are different and when you should use which tool we have given uh, example for each use case ki aapko kab kya use karna chahiye so that was discussed so today uh, we will be uh, talk, talking about something like uh, we'll starting with the excel thing that how companies use excel so you everyone who have been working in excel we are using it for different purposes but today i will be giving you a hint of how actually excel is being used by a corporate to make their mis and because it may be very different uh, than the way which you are using it so i'll try to give you a, a bit of glimpse of how practically excel is being used in companies and um, how it makes the work uh, more efficient okay so we will be having this um, a topic today so it's going to be a very exciting video so let's start okay so if you had seen my last video we had already said that we will be focusing entirely upon automating your mis and automating your reports most of the work which you do on excel to make a particular ppt or make a particular report we will try to see how we can reduce the time you take to prepare a particular report okay so that is going to be the uh, focus area entire series will be towards that so uh, that might be ki every time you are talking about mis only so you might feel the company mein sirf mis wale kaam hota hai kya but it's not true but still our focus is going to be that so just to give a, a disclaimer right in pehle ki hum mis pe hi zyada focus karne wale hai so i'll just share my screen and uh, i have a, a particular it's not the real data it's just a dummy data which we have just to show you that suppose uh, you have been given report ya ye report ho sakta hai aapke sap ya tally se aata hoga that uh, there is some sales data which you get from uh, your accounting software so this is the base dump you got now your uh, uh, your boss has said you that he needs a report something like this Yeah, maybe you have to prepare a return every month, something like this. Like uh, GST one table, आना चाहिए कि हमने B2B sales कितना किया, हमने कितने rate में कितना कितना sale किया, tax value should come. Then our IGST, CGST, uh, I need. And then he needs a accession code wise summary. अब आप देखोगे कि इसमें accession code कहीं पे नहीं आ रहा. ठीक है, जो report आता, उसमें अगर आता तब तो हम direct इसका ही pivot बना देते. We would have made pivot straight forward from this report. Okay, but some columns need to be added, like. accession code and uh, the the table which table it will go the gst rate needs to be added i gst c gst needs to be added nothing is there in this report okay and most of the time in practical life when you are dealing with a company the report which will come from sap is not uh, fully prepared it's not a finished good it's in this raw material so we have to like make some processing and make it a finished good right so what we do usually hame okay next is he said i need top customers as well तो यहाँ पर देखोगे कि कस्टमर का जीएसटी नंबर आ रहा है बट द कस्टमर नेम इज नॉट अपेयरिंग सो वी हैव टू टेक द कस्टमर नेम सो व्हाट वी डू आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू मेक अ फॉर्मेट अच्छा बाबा ये तो मेरा रिपोर्ट आ जाएगा आई नीड सम मोर कॉलम्स आई नीड द जीएसटी रेट एंड सिंस आई नीड द टैक्सेबल वैल्यू सो आई विल हैव टू नीड द सेल्स प्राइस देन आई डू बिफोर टैक्स अमाउंट आफ्टर डिस्काउंट वट इज द अमाउंट देन आई डू द टैक्सेबल वैल्यू I'll 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 put put in in the 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 code. I'll put in the product name. I'll do the destination ki pe sale hua hai by looking at this GSTN so that I can get inter or intra. I GST and CGST that I can get. So these all columns you will make. That okay. I need to add these columns. After you have made these columns, what will be your approach? Like you need GST rate. Now there may be some other files. Uh, like we have a product code, but here be GST rate nahi hai. So what happens in most of the time in any company we have a master file. that this is the product code master that which product codes means what is the name what is the accession what is the gst what is the price so these may be stored separately so what i usually do i prepare a backend like uh, these are the sources from where data will be coming so what we tend to do hum ek we lookup laga lete hain chalo hame ek gst rate chahiye and sales price chahiye so i can do a we lookup and i'll do a product code I'll do from back end. We can just simply take a product code, GST and sales price, which so one four and five. Now just using the array formula, but a simple we look up. So you can two times put it. Okay, not an issue. So here I have GST and sales price. Okay. 
I got this. Now I need sales before tax. So what I will do? I'll just say, okay, this is a sales price and this is a unit sold. So this is my sales before tax. So you can see each time I have to go down and I have to make this. मतलब वो drag करना पड़ता है. Then taxable value. Then as a taxable value will be. So uh, this is a sales price. Taxable value I'll do as uh, this minus the discount. Something like this. Now I'm just saying that you will know that what you need to be doing. Access and code. You again take it from uh, the product master. You'll take product name from the product master. All these things will be coming there. And uh, IGST CGST will apply some formulas that whether it's the IGST sale or so. I'm not here to discuss about the what Excel formulas you will use. But I'm just saying once you make this, uh, once you just copy paste this entire data, you will just con control C. You will say okay, this is the format required. This is the data I have got. And now I have to uh, make this formula. Again, I have to drag it, and then I'll make some pivot out of it. I'll create a pivot, all ten B, and then I will make whatever pivots are required. So this is a typical way I have seen people working. Most of the people do. But what can be a more better way of doing it? So instead of making such a format each time, yeah, each time the report is required every month, we can be having something called dynamic table. Okay, so dynamic table is nothing. But uh, just creating a normal table into a dynamic table. Like if I create this into a dynamic table, I'll just press Control L. So when you press Control L, it becomes a dynamic table. It becomes into a table. It will get its own filters. When you add a column like total discount, something like this, total discount, you'll get it automatically. You can just make the formula that it will be auto drag. Okay. So this is just uh, what is what dynamic tables are. So I, I won't discuss again this in detail because you can refer some videos about it. So what I'm trying to discuss is that now uh, when you know that this particular MIS needs to be made every week or every month, then what you will be doing? We have made a template. Now this final report is nothing but a template. That A to Z, my columns will be coming from SAP or from Tally. That I cannot change. This will be in the same order each time that I will ensure by setting some layout. Now these can be auto driven. Like uh, I have written either auto and manual. So what it means that these needs to be hard pressed and these columns will be auto driven. All these columns, all the formulas I have written it once. Once I have to write it, but then I'll write it in a way that every time something comes, it will automatically pick it and it will do all its job. It will uh, calculate the IGST, CGST, how it works, total GST, a GST one table. That what's the formula that. If it is a B two B sales, if the GST number is a registered person, then it, it will be a B two B. If it is not, then it's a B two C. And customer name will again be a formula base. So this is a template which I have made. After making the template, what I've done, I've given this temple, uh, this table a name. The name of this table is main table. Okay, so like uh, when I give a name main table, I can very easily call anything like main table. Sorry, I can call something main table. I press enter, I, I get the main table. Okay, so that's. That's the whole idea of uh, giving a name to a table. Now, once you have done this, you will uh, make a pivot table, and the pivot table source will be main table. Like if the table expands or reduces, it will not have to be given always. Like I, if I add something, then automatically the source will get bigger. I'll just show you in some time how it works. So once you have given the source as a main table, you just have to refresh. You have to like, you have to. ये सब डालना पड़ेगा लाइक जीएसटी वन यहाँ पर है जीएसटी रेट ऐसे आएगा टैक्स वैल्यू जो दिस यू वन सेट दैट कहाँ पे क्या चाहिए एक्सेस एंड कोड अगेन सेम थिंग अगर नेक्स्ट पाइव एक्सेस एंड कोड टैक्स वैल्यू एन ये सब और कस्टमर मास्टर अगेन यू विल डू समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट कस्टमर्स का नाम एंड आपने इसको शॉर्टिंग कर दिया हाइस्ट टू लोएस्ट समथिंग लाइक दिस लार्जेस्ट टू स्मॉलेस्ट समथिंग ओके सो दिस आपने एक बार वंस यू हैव डन दिस सो नाउ जो टेम्परेट इज रेडी So once the template is ready, what you need to be doing is you just need to copy paste the uh, entire data once. ये तो आपका जो base file है, I'll just copy paste. That's the two hundred rows. I'll go to the this final report, जो मेरा final report है. I'll just say Alt E S V, which is a paste special. So once I have done this, you can see that everything gets populated over down. नीचे तक आ जाता है. And every formula have been also copy pasted. मतलब नीचे अपने आप आ गया जितना भी formula था. So what you had to do a simple copy paste. ठीक है. And जो भी data आ रहा है, <coughs> try to ensure that जो data का value का है, आपने उसका back end में मतलब पीछे एक seat में उसका drag दिया है. Like मैंने customer master पूरा रख दिया इसमें कि भाई कौन-कौन से customer हो सकते हैं. Name of customer सब रख दिया इसमें. 
स्टेट का कोड रख दिया क्योंकि स्टेट का नाम चाहिए मेरे को अगर बाई चांस <coughs> तो मैंने स्टेट का कोड रख दिया दिस में भी मेनी मल्टीपल मास्टर्स इट मे डिपेंड अपन योर ओन केस मैरियो सो वॉट आई प्रिफर इज की वीलू कप कोई दूसरे सीट से ना लगे विद इन द सेम सीट हो जाए आफ्टर डूइंग दिस वॉट यू कैन सी इज दैट माई इंटायर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड रोज हैव बिन अपडेटेड Again, I don't need to do anything. I've just done a simple copy paste. I'll go to the pivot table. I'll hit refresh. So, अभी आप देखोगे there are like seventeen lakh rupees का taxable value. I uh, sorry, and I'll do to go to pivot table. I'll hit a refresh. Okay, there are some space constraint. I'll just do control Z. I'll do it down. Okay. Now I'll hit a refresh again. Now you can see the entire pivot has been updated, है ना? And in the same format as I want. Same case for HSN code as well. Even it just was updated. Like nineteen zero two is the taxable value, and I got the report. So what you can see is that whenever I get a new base dump, I'll simply copy the base. I'll go to my final report as I have made. Like this, this much are manual. I'll just zoom it in case you're not able to see it. So these rows will be manual. मतलब ये मेरे को manually copy paste करना है. And then these formulas once I have set and once I have set for every time like. Again, next month when the data will come, the same formulas will work and the same reports can be generated. The same uh, pivot table will get refreshed. So you don't need to add these columns manually and then drag it and drop it and again change the source of the data. Your pivot will be again change. Gonna be. So all these things hassles you can reduce. So uh, I call it as Excel templating, uh, making an Excel templates. So in corporates and companies, most of the वेरी लार्ज मास्टर Just imagine that the customer master is one lakh rows, the product master is two lakh rows. The, then, in case, how do you do it? So that we will be discussing in uh, the upcoming video on how we do it. But when you have a very small uh, case of master, where the file doesn't become so heavy, so in that way, Excel templating is a very efficient way of uh, automating your MIS at a very small level without use of any macro. Simply, you have to have use of a dynamic table. जहाँ पे यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट द मैनुअल थिंग एंड देन द फॉर्मुला है दैट विल गेट ऑटो रिवन इट विल गेट इट विल बी अपडेटेड इन द पाइवेट सो एंड दैट इज द थिंग एंड दे जस्ट वन एक्सेल फाइल इफ यू हैव टू गिव इट टू समवन एल्स यू कैन जस्ट गिव दिस वन एक्सेल फाइल टू इट ओके सो दिस वॉज द होल आइडिया आई होप इट वॉज मेकिंग सेंस एंड यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेल टेम्परेटिंग मीन्स and how you can use it like uh, it might be that um, your particular reports are very similar nature for each of the clients ki aapko aise hi ek data aana hai from the tally you get report in the same manner and then you apply some plus minus we look up some if count if and all these things and then you make a report so this once you make excel template for a client you can use it across multiple clients so that was the idea i hope you like it and the next part which i said that in case the data is very large and the data keeps updating like every month some products get added every month some customers get added so in that case how we can take care so for that we will be discussing on power query so that is the next topic uh, we will be seeing and in case you have any doubts anything you would like to discuss yeah feel free to reach out for any uh, issues which you feel and uh, these are the numbers where you can reach me out preferably you can contact me so this was for this video and uh, we'll uh, see you again Until then, stay tuned.